1962, the New York Mets were founded by American businesswoman Joan Whitney Payson. And while they may not have the same kind of history as their brothers in the Bronx, they have certainly made some memories along the way. From the miracle in 69 to the Amazons in 86. From Seaver to Gooden, all the way to Reyes and Wright, the Mets have made some history. However, one thing eluded them for 8,019 games, and no one knew who the hero would be in the 8,020th. It was Johan Santana, and it was a no-hitter. Behind the rubber, Tugs once hit the bill of his cap, takes a deep breath, and steps to the third base side of the rubber. Santana into the windup. The payoff pitch on the waist. Strike three! He's done it! Before Johan stepped to the mound in the 8,020th game in the history of the New York Mets, the Mets had their fair share of almost no hitters. Tom Seaver threw three one hitters, all that sailed into the ninth as no hitters, until batters Jimmy Qualls of the Cubs, Leron Lee of the Padres, and Joe Wallace of the Cubs snapped his bids in the ninth. Even recently, 35 year old knuckleballer R.A. Dickey threw back to back one hitters in the same season as Johan's no hitter. Dickey baffled the Rays and the Orioles in back-to-back starts in mid-July. As the old saying goes, though, behind every great fortune is a great crime. And while you need the right stars to align and the right amount of precipitation in the air to even flirt with a no-hitter, you also need the benefit of the doubt. And Johan received just that when former Met Carlos Beltran stepped to the plate in the top of the sixth. Although it's clear the chalk flew up from the line, third base umpire Adrian Johnson called foul ball, and the Mets had the baseball gods staring down on them. But you also need the benefit of some great defense, and just with Adrian Johnson, the Mets got help. The help came from Queens native Mike Baxter, who robbed Yadier Molina. The same Yadier Molina who robbed the Mets of a World Series berth back in 2006. After the game, Baxter was stricken with a broken collarbone and bruised ribs, but in the end, it was all worth it. While the gods looked down for the benefit of some bad calls and great defense, Johan still had to get the other 25 outs. He did so throwing 134 pitches, just a few months removed from major shoulder surgery, something that was on Terry Collins' mind the, uh, all game long. He came over to me when I was sitting down on the, on the dugout, and he told me that I was his hero. I can be your hero, baby. And he told me that I was his hero. But I can kiss away the pain. And he told me that I was his hero. I will stand by you forever. He, he did say also on the field that you told him that he was your hero. But... Yeah, that's what I told him. At the end of the day, it's another note in the history books, and something that will not soon be forgotten. For every sentence that contains the Mets and Johan Santana, we'll now have to include his historic feat of throwing the first and the only no-hitter in the history of the New York Mets.